boy are we excited to tell you about our latest feature, Transient Balance. For too long, aircraft mechanics just like you have been wrestling with throttle controls, trying to find just the right engine speed, collect data, and then move to the next speed and do it again. Sometimes it could be like trying to staple jello to the wall. In this two minute tip, we're going to talk about how to conduct a transient balance job using the Viper 2 analyzer. It took a while, but our engineers finally figured out how to collect data in one sweep, analyze that data, and then give you a solution. Yes, that's right. So for all you mechanics in Lincoln, Nebraska, there's no need to fight the wind anymore. With transient balance, you can just start the engine, run it up to full power, and let the analyzer do its thing. First, select transient balance from the main menu. Then, enter the aircraft information using the analyzer's keypad or a USB keyboard plugged into the analyzer's USB port. Install the speed and vibration sensors according to the aircraft manual and application note. Now, check for FOD, start the engine, and set the engine to idle until it's warmed up to normal operating limits. Press OK to begin accelerating and collecting data. Watch the screen's green bar rise as you accelerate. If the bar turns red, that means you're moving through the acceleration too quickly. No problem, just continue accelerating, but at a slower pace. Once you reach max power, press OK to accept the Run 1 data and review the data. If you're happy with the results, then press OK and shut down the engine per manual instructions. If the data looks wonky to you, press F1 to retake the data. By the way, you can also see plots by pushing the F4 key. With fewer engine starts and runs, the beam counters will be happy too. Thanks for watching. Please watch our other 2 minute tip videos on our Facebook page, facebook.com/acesystems.tec.